Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing King's Quest 2 in the last episode, or at least bonus episodes. In the last episode, we started off this... You see a man this... bending over the fountain. He appears to be trying to retrieve something from it. Yeah, so we have, uh... We pretty much... Aha! Got him. Oh, what did that guy get? What a dick. Alright, so here we are in the town. Talk to the man. Look at the statue. So let's a tall statue of a man stands prominently at the entrance of town. It looks to have been placed here quite a number of years ago. The statue bears a plaque which reads, Count Kaldor, ruler and protector of Kalima. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings, merchant. Ah, to you, good day. A visitor arrived new, no? A sense I possess for these things? Need you have for my wares of great specialty? Perhaps. But first, I'm curious. Where did you come by such a pumpkin? Yeah. Eyes quite keen have you. Indeed, a specimen unique it is. Mama, me want mama. Oh, they're Be poor, quiet. Poor, poor. The gift of speech among plants so rare, yes? Quite so. Are you planning to sell it? Sell? Never would I sell such a thing as this. It'll make me incredibly rich. Uh. I mean, entrusted it was to my wow, cat. What a, Watch this... over it, I must. Whoa, Mama, what are you, yoga? Take me back to my mama! Forget it. I'm not taking you back to that patch. So pipe down. Right. Pardon? Ah, of importance I speak not. Trouble to your ears, I meant none. Alright, so let's uh, head into the library. This is the Kalima Library. Now I need to talk to the librarian nine times. Apparently. May I help you? Yes, I was hoping to enrich my knowledge of this fair land by way of perusing your historical texts. Yeah, My, that was well put. Yeah. No. What? Not terribly effective, though. Let's talk to her again. Um, pardon me. Perhaps I was not clear. You were. Then may I? No. What a bitch. Why can't I? You are not a member. Well, then, can I become a member? No. Why not? Why can I not become a member? We already have far too many members. It's difficult to keep track of everything. How many members are there? Two. That's stupid. If I may inquire, who are your two members? You may not. Neither the Count of Kalima nor the elderly gentleman who lives next door would approve of my divulging that information to you. Ah, thank you anyway. You mentioned the Count of Kalima is a member of this library. Have you seen him recently? The librarian looks at you strangely. No! What the hell? Is there any way I might meet the Count? Yes! How? Die! Whoa! I would have to die to meet the Count? Depends! On what? Your importance! And if I am important? Then you might be fortunate enough to be buried on his estate! Well, I am a king. Who's buried on the Count's estate? Counts! Aha. Past counts, of course. Anyone else? Yes. Who? Him. Pardon? Do you mean the count is dead? The librarian decides to avoid your gaze and seems disinclined to speak further with you on the subject. What the hell? The librarian seems disinclined. All right, librarian. I'd smash your head in with this mallet, but I'm not going to. Let's leave. Now there's a door. There appears to be a sign on the door, but you need to... The door is plain and has a mail slot. It also has a sign posted on it. You read it. Family of the deceased wishes to thank all those who condolences over their love. Frederick enjoyed life and literature and his ever present as well as sensing you. May his soul be a recipe of the realm of the dead and may the Lord just blah 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 blah. You Whoops. So let us uh look there's all yeah, see this town's a little this place is a little different. 
making sure that no one is watching, you slide your thin blade under the door and draw out what appears to be a letter. All right, let's look at said letter. You open the letter and read it. Dear applicant, please find and close the library membership card to which you are now entitled. The five-year application process has concluded, and we are pleased to inform you that your status as a member of the town library is confirmed. Welcome to an exclusive group of patrons. Yours sincerely, Town Librarian. P.S. Please sign your name on the card to ensure validation. Hmm, so it looks like we're going to have to do that. So let's head back into the town. And, uh... You're kidding, right? Not even Mary Poppins could clean this mess up. No, I want to take the quill there. What are you doing? I was just... Don't! Let's talk to you. The librarian seems... Let's show her the library card. Will you accept this? No. Why not? It has not been signed. Will you accept... No. Why not? It has... Alright, so now I gotta go to the desk here. And apparently I gotta wait for someone to come in or something. There's gonna be a girl who comes in. Maybe I gotta go over here. You would not know where to start. Hmm. Where the hell is this woman who's supposed to be coming in? Uh, enter the library, then go to the desk. Wait for the girl to look the other way. Oh. Oh, right. Anyways, uh, yeah. Wait till she looks the other way. Look the other way, bitch. You know you want to. There we go. Yay. You quickly grab the quill while the librarian isn't looking and sign your name on the blank library card. You replace the quill before the librarian notices it missing. Yay. So now let's show it to her. Will you accept this? Yes. You are younger than I expected. Uh, I eat well and get a lot of exercise. I see. So, what do I do now? Borrow. You mean I can take books from this library? No. Oh. Hmm, she is a real piece of work, this one. Yes? Could you recommend a good book? There. Let's read that book. The librarian has placed the book. This book is entitled, Kalima, Perfect One Day, Better the Next. Browsing through it, you notice an interesting excerpt. All right. Uh, wow. This is going to... Ooh, Land of the Green Isles. I like that on the bottom. I didn't even read the middle. <laughs> Holy shit, this is long. If you're considering traveling to the wondrous land of Plima, then you should be congratulated on your timing, for indeed it has changed much since the creation many years ago. The very occasional earthquake has altered the land of the east somewhat, and the creating deep chasms in the mountainside, the changing ocean levels... In the region has caused an alteration in the shape of the coastline, and of course, the people themselves have relocated to where they once lived. Now most reside in town, which is nested in the safety of the mountains. A wise decision for more than a few who have claimed to hear the sounds of a howling wolf at night. Or howling at night. A sign that many animals have moved in the weirwood forest. In recent times, as a result, a few venture past the town gates, especially after dark, and isolated. <coughs> this isolation and relative scarcity of people. Well, most of the realm has made Kalima a haven for the, for the tourists who wish to soak up the natural atmosphere of the land. It has also made a significant convenience for those who have settled in Kalima far from the town and wish to maintain their privacy and pursue their own ambitions and peace. In the realm of Kalima is a wondrous land of blah blah blah. blah. Many adventures await above you, blah, 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 danger. Also, guidebook of the land of the Green Isles. Yay! So we just read that book. Is there anything else I need to speak to her about? You have nothing else. Alright, so, there we go. We learned stuff. Now let us leave. Now we're gonna go south, and then south. And then west. This way, Grammy Graham. Or is this south too? 
then west, then north. West, then north. Yeah, so that basically just telling you, oh, this game has changed locations of things. So now let's come and talk to you again. Pardon me for asking, but how did you come by the ability to talk? With a question like that, I might ask you the same. I was only... I don't take it personal. That old witch had to cast a spell on me so I could guide her precious possessions. Uh, Hagatha? Yeah, she's the old bat who lives in that cave to the west. You know her type. Green warts, pointed ears, cannibalistic, doesn't bring her trash out. Just your stereotypical evil old crown. Hmm. Hmm. She sounds pleasant. You mentioned something about guarding Hagatha's precious possessions. At least, what she considers precious. I reckon they're anything but. Mind you, I have my doubts about Hagatha's legitimate ownership of this stuff. If you know what I mean. What sorts of items does Hagatha wish you to guard? Oh, the usual vanities. All useless in my opinion. But what would I know? Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, what I want to do now is save my game. We'll call this B. And, uh, yeah, so now we're going to head south. And west, west, west. One... Three. You'll see a little girl. If she's not there, let's talk to her. Repressing the urge to burst into song, you choose. There we go. This should be Little Red Riding Hood. Hello. Who are you? My name is Graham. What is yours? Possum. That is what my grandma calls me. She is not at all well these days. I was collecting flowers for her, but now I cannot anymore. Why is that? My basket is missing. I have looked everywhere for it. It must be around here somewhere. I will keep my eye out for it. Mm. Thank you, Graham. Did I say I was Graham? Repressing the urge. I was wondering, could you tell me anything about this land? You mean Kalima? Yeah. There is a town to the northeast, and a church not far south of that. Grandma and I live in a house near the beach. You should not enter the swamp to the north. It is said to be influenced by magic. Many have easily lost their way in she there. must have a cold. And finding your way out again is difficult. Thank you, Possum. Possum. Is there any way at all Possum. through the swamp? I do not know, but I did see someone walking out of there not long ago. He was writing something in a book as he walked. Who was that? A monk from the church. Who is this church? You mentioned that your grandma is not well. What ails her? I am not sure, but I think it gives her sad dreams. Oh. While she sleeps, sometimes she talks out loud. Sometimes I listen to her. No, do not leave me, she says. At first, I thought she was speaking to me. I would go over to her, but she would not notice me. Then I realized it was a dream. I think she misses the person she talks to in her sleep. And then there's the scary dreams. Yeah, what kind of scary You mentioned dreams? that your grandma had scary Probably dreams. Probably being eaten by What are wolf. these dreams about? Bats. Oh, okay. Bats? Yes, in her sleep, she screams with fright as if a bat is chasing her or she's being hurt by one. Then she'll say something like, Blue light is the bat's true being, over and over. Hmm. Blue light? What does she mean? No idea. I have asked her this, but she just shakes her head and will not speak of it. Thank you, Possum. I wish your grandma a swift recovery. Thank you, Graham. I will speak of you to her. Don't. You have nothing. So, uh, what we want to do now is save our game. And now that we have talked to mm, Possum, we're going to walk around the woods until we find a basket. A picnic a basket. Uh, yeah. 
We're walking around the woods for a basket. I don't know if this is the way. I don't really know. It doesn't really say where the basket is. Just that there's a basket somewhere. Hey, here's the beach. I remember this beach. As you near the cave, the bat symbol above the entrance. Okay, let's not go into there. Where the hell is the basket? I need the basket. Where is it? Come on, Graham, go up. Hello, beautiful swan. Are you holding the basket? Yeah, the guy just says walk around till you find the basket, then load your game and go get that basket as quick as you can. That's scary, I don't like it. That's scary. I'm gr I'm Graham. And I want that basket. Who? Where the hell is the basket? <laughs> it's a good idea, I guess, to walk around and, uh, you know, get a lay of the land, I guess. But, where the hell is, uh,. Where the friggity diggity is this basket? Let's see, if I click on this... I don't know. Yeah, because our next thing to do, we gotta get that basket. Do 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 do, 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 do. Hey, there it is. Okay, so where is this located? Uh oh, you have run into an evil enchanter. Get out of here, fat. Oh dear God. Yeah, bye, enchanter. Leave me alone. Don't touch me, you sick prick. All right, so let's restore. I'm trying to figure out where that is. All right, it's not there. It's right there. Now where is little Red Riding Hood? She's right here. <coughs> so one left right east one two three four and down and down. So four four to the right, I guess. Four to the left and uh two down. One, a two, a three, a four. Now we head downwards twice. One more time. There's the basket. You take the basket. Yay, let's get the hell out of here. Back to... what's her name? Yay. Alright. Let's go talk to the girl. Give her back her basket. Cause that's what we do. <coughs> yeah, I think I got some allergies or something. I don't know, man. My nose has been running. I got this nasty cough. Hello, Possum. You hand the basket to Possum. Thank you, kind sir. Please take this flower. I'm afraid it's all I have to give you. Yeah, no it problem. is more than enough. I noticed that you have picked only yellow flowers. Of course. Is it not customary for one to pick yellow flowers for another who is gravely ill? Certainly it is. I'm sorry to hear about your grandma, Possum. Thank you. 
Goodbye. No, right, don't get eaten by a wolf. And even if you do, then uh, stick stick around till. <coughs> excuse me. Stick around until some guy comes and saves you or some shit. So, anyways, you want to then and then go left. You had better. N Let's go over here. You look under the log and discover a clam lying beneath it. You pick it up. And then let's open the clam. You open the clam and discover, to your surprise, a dazzling pearl. Whoa, a pearl. Nothing like some stuff for ladies to get. So anyways, I'm going to stop the video here in the next episode. We will continue our uh, quest through Colima. This has been Kenshin1913. See you later. Bye-bye.